fragment is heavily underestimated. The kins are already strong enough as they are. Uh, all you need is more of them. Yeah, that's true. It's true. So Bash Bob, I play Snake with shields and one military path. Pretty tanky and working to, with 250 points. How bad do you think it is? <laughs> um... Hmm. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. It's cool. It's hard. It sounds very bad, but I'm not the snake player. It sounds very bad, yeah, that's awesome. But uh, there might be a way. I know what you're going for. You want to uh, guerrilla tactics them up, right? I heard about this, and that shouldn't actually be... Like, it sounds so crazy and not really useful, but when you actually have those shield bearers with the insane resistance and attack power... <laughs> uh, I don't actually have too much of an overview about the team uh, balance, but I have faults on my team. That's always a good sign. Um, plus Scorched. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Only shields had skirm passive. If only shields had skirm passive, that would be so great, right? If you would at least like have any way to give it to them, there's no real way. But yeah, right. It would be, it would be so great, Kappa. If only stack had recruitment. <laughs> If only goat had more sheep. <laughs> All those crazy scenarios. Man. But I think shields with skirms passive. I think that would be. <coughs> yeah, I just imagine the rush tactics that would come out of this. Towers don't help. Towers don't help. Oh, we have a sheep player. Okay. 
Good one. Scout out. Not good. I'm Twenty for that. <laughs> Quite expensive. Two sailors might be a little overkill for now. Yeah, I need lore. Maybe, maybe they are not. God, so many farms. Just won't be able to get them all. Uh, man, scurvies are dying by villagers. Like I <laughs> knew, need them for under pressure. After that, they are useless. Maybe done one v one, two v two, but FFA and three v three with snakes economy, and you have play around with eight o three. Else, I really suck and need that this drama snake. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. But um, yeah. Skirmishers, I like them actually in late game when you get the full guerrilla stacks on it. Like maybe other uh, military units are still quite good right then. But if the map is still crowded by uh, stuff, like if you play on Ragnarok for example, and you still have a lot of stuff on the map that people just don't want to clear out because it's just too much on a single tile, uh, the skirmishers can still get quite handy even in FFAs because you could just attack in weird spots with quite strong skirmishers after you got the full 25 stack of guerrilla tactics and all the upgrades you could get on them like you have like 20 attack skirmishers right there. Uh, I think you will also need Scorcher for that. I think, okay, maybe you will not be able to get plus 20 just with the all those things. Hey, little, 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 little. Did you catch my thought, right? No. I'm overdoing it a bit.
Gule. <laughs> um, no, you probably don't need Scorch if you have 20 villa, villa kills. Oh, yeah, that can be, that can be. Uh, Fault's just pasting his standard wolf message a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just has a bind for that, but <laughs> just like you go for. Uh, is it? Uh, bind. <laughs> Can you even see that? I don't think you know. Yeah, you can see that. Bind. Uh, go for your stuff, man. <laughs> I don't think you can actually do things like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wants. Show me. Uh, oh. Scouts now. Um, from now it's only yeah or nay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah or nay, man. Wolf efficiency. What's up, dude? Going up right here. Uh, which blessing are you usually using first? Uh, like 90% of, 100% of the times so I go for Yord's blessing. I just like it so much to get a little bit of stone and iron on top. Don't know. Always helps me a little bit. Mm. Well, there are definitely strategies where it can make sense to go for something else, but I just, I just feel it. upgrade will take a while so I'm just gonna build the next market there take my time then go for the upgrades as soon as I have my carpentry mastery right here or wait a second <laughs> there we go. Still more lore. Let's go for this too. Should we go for two market upgrades? Nah, I just go for the field now. Come on, Carpentry Master 3. We all wait for ya. helpful we have to start off green there I 
Rats! That might get a problem. Just going full gold. Screw everything. What isn't gold is it worth? Sheep and room. Okay.
Which blessing are you usually using first? Mm, ah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> that were a little bit older, sorry. <laughs> Already forgot about that. Won't really rise that high anymore. <laughs> Ran right past it. <laughs> Brand really cool walking in there. I appreciate it. The coolness of Bran. I'm just gonna stay a little unhappy here, right? I'm unhappy for it's all good. to the winter. No, it would be a little bit hairy for me. How about my friend? Can he at least be helpful? Not that crazy though, but it's gonna be enough. After the feast, full go. No mercy. See if it works out. He's dead. Oh my god.
Eieieiei. Guy building that thing at least. Straight from in general shields. Oh my god, I'm wearing Borgild on first. That's what you should definitely not do. Well played. <laughs> Sorry for the relief. I think there could have happened like a lot more. Dorian and his shield bearers there with a well defense right there. Like just wait for Dorian for the right point. Like false and me alone, we couldn't have done it. I'm quite sure. That even when the axe throws, like I were quite shocked how long we needed to get the axe throws there now down from Dorian. And I think if they would have just like get it a little bit together there at the backside, it would have already Yeah, helped that much. But yeah, if you just quit, that doesn't help. Doesn't help, of course. Like check Wolf's army and yours, okay? 
Wolf didn't communicate at all. Oh man, that's... I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Things like that happen sometimes. And yeah. That's a little bit unfortunate, bro. Uh, still nice game here. Like, you definitely got up quite some shield bars right there. And I guess, like, that would have been quite a fight. If, like, yeah. You were, like, just right quick. Uh, like, check Wolf. You was on... Uh, he was elf p 11 people on 802. Yeah, man. Like, uh, not even too crazy, man. Like, there are people that can do, like, 11 dragonkins at 802. I'm definitely not one of those. We're not that crazy. We're just, like, um, yeah, chill out of me, basically. They can? Yeah, there are some people. Like, I didn't really can make that happen, but I heard about, like, more than 10 dragonkins at the start of 802 in F4. Oh, okay, that's... That's decent. <laughs> but yeah, things like that are definitely possible. And in rush... Uh, in team games, you most likely always need to be a little bit ready for a rush and always have, like, at least three or 400 gold in the back and, like, quite a bit of... Uh, Quite a bit of warband ready in case you get attacked like you don't need as much army as the attacker needs like if i come with 12 army you will maybe already ready with uh like eight army to push against that with a little bit of help from the villagers like uh you will be quite help with the um supply lines buff like you get a debuff from the pharaoh you attack out of your territory it goes up to minus 30 percent so at some point it really hurts to fight against you even when you have less army when you're in the defending one so the defending player always has a little bit of an advantage there that's in most strategy games actually like this because if it wouldn't be like it if you wouldn't have a defending strategy uh, every player would attack from the first second or like just bang like there's no why when there's no uh backfire by attacking a player on his base like why don't you do it from the first second on? so that's why usually strategy games have something like this that the attacking player will get a little bit of a disadvantage and actually needs to be a little bit more like just imagine like if you could win if you're that much in front of your enemy like okay you could do that but uh you rather need to be a little bit more like this so you actually like <laughs> flood on him or you will mostly like bing 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 always tip top up and down again um that's what we usually call a stale then then you don't really come out of it and sometimes a macro win then decides the game that also